What's up, YouTube world? We're going to talk to you guys today about having the weekend off. Sometimes we get caught up in our lawn business, and we don't um, we don't really control the days we have off. And sometimes we need to have the weekend off. Probably have I want to say four four and a half good productive days. And have part of a, a day to keep caught up on yards. In case uh, it does rain for that week, have Saturday. Don't work seven days a week. Have a day off for your family. And have the weekend just to uh, get back on top of things. I talked earlier about uh, stop ripping off your employees. Well, don't rip off yourself as well. Take time. Um, prop appropriately bid jobs. Meaning that you should have a, a margin where you're making enough money to pay your employees at a fair wage. That you can buy everything you need for your landscape business or your lawn mowing crew. Also save. You should be able to do this. Save enough money to buy your next truck. Finance everything yourself. Be the self-financier. You're going to save yourself so much money when you do things like that. When, you're, when your profit margins are, I'd say, 30 to 50%, you're going to be able to pay your employees fairly, uh, pay yourself fairly so you can have the weekends off. Um... You're going to have family time. You're going to be able to spend time with your uh, friends and family. You're, you're going to look like a member of the community when you're out and about more. Sh um, not just showing off, but what you're doing is going out and talking to people that are potential new clients. Um, one of the largest lawn companies that I admire is, I, I think they're called Brightview. They've been around since 1920s, if I was told correctly. One of my friends, he's an attorney for um, several companies up in the uh, up north in the Midwest area, and uh, he, I think he represents them. I'm not too sure. I have to double check, but he he had some information he gave to me, and I I admire Brightview. Uh, Benchmark, Davy, uh, these national companies that have pulled it off, that went out there and just made profit, made things happen. I think a lot of times these people even pay their employees fairly. I've never worked for them, so I, I can't really say. But for myself, if you're going to own a business, you, you take time off and you're honest with yourself. You pay your employees honestly. You uh, bid properly. Excuse me. Yeah, properly, appropriately. Um, you listen to people like Stanley Genetic that talks about um, your margin should be, I think it's 30 to 50% profit. So if you uh, go out there, it's uh, a $10,000 job. So it should be, you know, five thousand dollars you know going towards you or more um you shouldn't be afraid of owner's profit uh having enough money in the bank to pay payroll for i would probably say the year um you should have enough money in the bank where you shouldn't have to worry about stuff you know paying your taxes you know pass that right on to the customer be fair about it though D don't rip your customer off because that guy is not going to stick around. I promise you that. Uh, be honest with your customer. Um, if the uh, customer says how much is clean up, it's two hundred dollars. Okay, then um, planning is another. I don't know. Let's say five hundred dollars for all the different bushes, for digging things up, including uh, costs and all that. Make sure you have profit in there for each stage of the way, because they might tell you, "Hey, we just want you to come clean it up." So make sure you don't underprice it. So if it should be $400 and not $200, do 
do that. Um, I'm going to be doing things like that in the near future, and I'm definitely not going to um, cheat myself. I'm done cheating myself. Uh, that's a commitment I'm going to make for the new year. And let's see what happens, I guess. Let's see what happens. So, if you like this uh, topic, like and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon and other social websites. Uh, subscribe to YouTube. Click the bell so you know the updates. And uh, thanks again. Have a great day.